Hi, welcome to lecture number 23 of the ultimate Python course. So in this lecture, we are going to see about functions. Okay, we shall start. Don't write the notes. Notes is given in the description. And second thing is, please watch my video at 2x speed. I will be very slow while explaining. Now, what is a function? A function is nothing but a block of code. A block of code which is organized and reusable and it will perform some action for example you can write a function to convert celsius to foreign heat for this you will write a function and put the code inside the function and reuse it any number of times for example if you have to calculate if if you want to calculate what is the foreign heat value for a celsius celsius value for 10 times you don't have to write it 10 times you write it once put it in a function then you call it multiple times whenever you use so reusability is the main purpose of having functions of course you are organizing them organizing the code and putting in a block and also it is readable but the main purpose is reusability so you can organize your code you can reduce redundancy you can increase readability and the more most important thing is reusability okay so how are you going to define a function a function is defined by the keyword def you have to use the keyword def and after def you have to use the function name and after the function name you have to specify the parameters which are enclosed in a in brackets and then you have to use a colon and whatever code you write that should be indented by four spaces inside the function and def keyword is used to define the function and written keyword is used to return something from the function generally we will return a result from the function now if you look at the uh, the anatomy of a function it is going to have the keyword definition def and after def you are going to write the function name and after function name you are going to write whatever parameters you want to pass and after that you are going to write a colon now after writing this colon you can write the statements in the function so you can write any number of statements in the function but then you have to give indentation and at the end you can say what you are returning if you are not returning anything you just have to have a return nothing okay so return followed by what you want to return can be there okay so let's take an example of converting celsius to foreign heat so let us define a function called temperature convert by using def by using def we are writing temperature control convert and then we are passing a parameter celsius now inside the function by taking four spaces as indentation you are writing the code now in the code you are calculating the foreign heat value of the celsius value by using this formula finally we are returning the foreign heat value we have taken celsius value and we are returning the foreign heat value therefore what is the purpose of this function to take the celsius to take the celsius value and convert it to foreign heat to take the celsius and convert it to foreign heat so one thing you have to observe is proper indentation is required for a function and whenever we need this function we will call it we will not rewrite the code again and again whenever we want to convert celsius to foreign heat we will call this function again and again we will not write this code again and again so what is the basic function example so def def means definition okay followed by the function name which is greet and now there is only one line in the function which is printing welcome to python chapter 2 right now how are you going to call it you are going to call it by greet you are going to call it by writing greet 
the name of the function then automatically this line is going to be executed and you are going to see welcome to python chapter 2 now a function will execute only when it is called if you write a function and if you don't call it it will never get executed you will never reach the function we write a function we write in a function the lines that will be used and repeatedly we will not write the function right once you have written a function we are going to use it repeatedly without writing the same function there is no need to write the code again and again now functions can also take arguments or parameters okay for example here for example here we are defining a function called welcome note and it is taking a parameter called name now there is one line in the function which is printing welcome to my python course python class followed by name welcome to my python class followed by name now if i call this function without giving it any parameter or argument if i call this function without giving any parameter or argument it will give you an error because it is expecting an argument you are not giving an argument right so it is giving you an error see this missing one required positional argument how to handle this pass a parameter right so you are expecting a parameter i'm i'm sending a string winky and now that string is replaced here and i got this line welcome to python class winky sometimes what happens is we don't want to send the parameters all the time some of the times we will send the parameters some of the times we don't send the parameter then how can we handle the situation so there is something called as default parameters okay there is something called as default parameters now for example if you write like this def gate score is the function and it has a parameter called value and to that value i am assigning 75 i am assigning 75 what does this mean value will take a value of 75 if no argument is given if the argument is given that value will be taken right for example in this case you can call the function without giving any parameter in that case it is going to take 75 as the argument and it is going to give you some answer but if you give some some argument for example 75 is the default value but i am passing 90 then what will happen is this default value will be overwritten by 90 now this function will take the value 90 and it will print the result similarly 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 60 if i am passing the gate score 60 it means that 75 will be replaced by 60 and you are going to get the value accordingly so which means you can also have functions with default values default parameters and even if you don't pass the parameters there will be no problem but if you pass the parameter it will take the parameter it will override the default parameter it will override the default parameter okay so that's it Please do uh, share, like, subscribe, share it with your friends. Okay. Thank you so much. If you want to take my gate classes, we go to the website ravindrababuravala.in and you are going to see all my gate classes available there. Okay. So coming to the classes, they are all recorded. Why am I doing recorded? Why am I not doing live classes is I have thousands of students registering for my courses every year. But then if I conduct a live class, only 20 or 30 people will be there. 20 or 30, that's it. Maximum is 40 I had. The reason is live classes are little bit wasting your time. See, you cannot watch a live class at 2x speed. You have to watch at the pace at which I teach. Generally, I will be very, very slow while teaching. So if you can go through the live classes, you can watch them at 2x speed and you can complete the syllabus very fast. 400 plus hours content is there for gate and if you are going to watch them at normal pace it will take 400 hours but if you watch it at 2x speed it will take just 
200 hours right so if you want any of my gate classes gate computer science or gate da the price is just 10000 rupees it is very very reasonable for the kind of quality we provide we have test series we have doubt sessions we have videos we have lecture notes for every even you don't have to write any lecture notes i will provide you lecture notes for every subject you just have to sit back watch the videos at 2x speed and revise the notes short notes will be provided long notes will be provided formulas will be written in a separate notes everything will be there provided to you you don't have to work hard and coming to if you are planning to go abroad we also have study abroad program you can go through my number my number is on whatsapp my whatsapp number is in the website if you are planning to do masters abroad that is a very good choice it is better than doing masters in india so if you are planning to go abroad we will help you out right from the from taking the passport to getting the visa visa us visa right so we will help you out in the entire process okay so do visit the website see what is happening there even dsa course is there for 5000 rupees which is both in python and c++ okay so thank you so much